This is part six of the uh, video series on the chapter three house. And uh, we're going to begin by doing one more thing uh, with our roof. And that is that we're going to um, eliminate seeing the line. When we go to the 2D view, you notice we can see the dotted lines representing the roof. And sometimes you don't want them there because if, watch if I click sometimes uh, near it, see how it selects a roof plane? Um, sometimes we don't want that. So in order to get rid of that, what we're going to do is go to the top of the toolbar here and click tools layer settings and then display options and these are all your layers which layers kind of the point of them is to separate the whole drawing into different uh, parts and everything's alphabetical here on your on the names of your layers and you can change things like the color of it whether they're displayed or not um, how thick the lines are that sort of thing so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, roof um, and we're going to go to roof roof planes right there where it says roof planes and it says DISP which means display and we're just going to uncheck that so we check it so now we click it so it's unchecked and now when we hit OK watch what happens to the roof planes so now they disappear they're still there we can still make them come back just by by reversing what we just did but uh, we don't have to look at them then and also you'll notice the roof is all still there it's all still there we just don't see those lines when we're um working in here. So the the idea uh, of this lesson is we're going to talk about um, putting room labels into our uh, drawing and we're going to start by just uh, showing you that when we click in different areas notice how the areas turn gray and that means that um, we're selecting a particular um, region of the drawing and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first of all when we click in this area right here which is where we're going to call the living area you notice it goes into the hallway so this hallway here and this hallway here is selected and we don't want that to be considered as part of the the living area so we're going to we're going to use a divider and the way we do that is we go over here to our wall tools and we click room divider and room divider we're just going to simply click and go straight up to the wall from here and we're going to do the same thing down here just go straight down to the wall here and now you'll notice when I get my selection arrow, when I click, see how they're all different objects now. I can click in the hallway, in the hallway, and in the living area. So um, now what we're going to do is we're going to um, start by just labeling this area, which is going to be called living area. So with it selected, you notice if it turns gray, it's selected. I do a right click and hit open object. And then we can label our room type. So it defaults to unspecified, meaning we didn't give it a room uh, label. And we're just going to call it living. And we make sure that um, all of our uh, show room labels checked and display in uppercase. We want that. So we click OK. And when we do that, we see it says uh, living 15 foot by 10 inches by 21, 10, 15, 10 by 21 foot. That shows the dimensions of the room, also shows the square foot of the room. For the purposes of this uh, assignment, and we, again, we're on page uh, 88 at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to um, change our display. So like we did before, we're going to go to Tools, Layer, Settings, and Display Options. And we're going to go to now, to our uh, instead of Roofs, we're going to go to Rooms, and we go to... Um, Keep going down a little bit. Room labels. We want the room labels displayed, but um, and we want the uh, the interior area displayed, but we don't need the dimensions in there because it gets getting too crowded um, in the drawing. So we just uncheck interior room dimensions, and then I click OK, and now you notice it just changes to living 304 square feet, which that's fine. We're gonna go at this point, and we're gonna go, we're gonna go through all of our areas and label them. So let's start up here. Right click open object click here we want to call it hall and click OK um, I can move that label up a little bit so it's not so much in the um, in the way and then I'm gonna to go to the bottom same thing here right click open object I'm gonna call that hall and hit OK and then um, just looking at my my page 89 uh, drawing there I'm just gonna go through each and every one and uh, this one's going to be called laundry and I'm going to move it up a little bit see how it kind of goes off the screen a little we want to clean that up open object and I'm going to go to um, utility for this one click OK and again I've been 
clicking open object because that's what it kind of tells you to do in a book but I will tell you you can just double click on an area same thing same result so I'm gonna start doing that from here on out just to show you there's more than one way to to do this and I'm gonna move this bath label up a little bit so it's not uh, a little more centered uh, this is also a bath right here double click on it bath okay um, I'm gonna move that label up a bit and then over a little bit so it's not in the way of the door kind of like that. that's how they showed in the um in the drawing anyway um this hall label i never moved up that's better and we're over here and um double click this is a bedroom right here and this is a bedroom now we're gonna do something in these bedrooms uh, in a minute. I'll go. I'll go back and do that. So double click. This is a closet, and we're gonna we're gonna do something in these closets as well because the labels are just too big. So I'll show you how to fix them to make them fit better. So in the bedrooms, what we're um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the um, the label. So instead of saying bedroom, just the word bedroom. We're going to um, double click that and, um, well, so let me do that again. Double click in the open object and then right here where it says bedroom, it says room name. And if I check this, instead of room, instead of using room type, we use room name. Now we can change it to be something custom like bedroom one, which is what they want you to do. And then they want you to do the same thing here. We want to use room name and we hit bedroom two. So now both of our bedrooms are, um, are labeled. And um, it also wants us to uh, put a little leader line over here, and I'll show you what a leader line is. That's uh, if you use the text tool up here, uh, a leader line just simply um, kind of points to an area, and we're going to point to this area over here. And I just click and drag off to the left, and then over, and then it opens up a little uh, text dialog box, and I'm just going to call this kitchen area. It has it in lowercase, um, just the first letter of each uh, word to capitalize. I like to do all caps, but I'm just going to do it like they do it in the book right here to be consistent. Now, uh, we're looking pretty good here, but we still have a couple things we need to um, work on. And uh, this hall label, for example, could move over a little bit because kind of center it there. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to fix these closet labels and because they're just they're too big to fit in the in the room the rooms are very very small. So in this case we click right on the word instead of the room the um room being selected like that we're going to click right on the word closet and then right click and open object. And in here we're going to click on textile and we're going to use a custom textile and then the way we're going to choose it, we're going to change it to the scale. Instead of being 8 inches, we click on scale. And then uh, what it tells you in the book is we're going to make it like a print scale. And we, you, we have, you don't know anything about printing uh, yet as far as printing architectural drawings, but they're always printed to scale because obviously a full scale drawing of a house would be like 30 feet long. So it would be too big. So we always scale them down. So in this particular case, we're going to change it to an eighth inch equals a foot. And I'm going to hit the tab key. And... Um, so our printed scale, eighth inch equals a foot, and then the desired print size should be. Oh, I'm um, the desired print size. This should be. I'm sorry, I should have undone that. Should have been quarter inch equals a foot, and our desired print size should be uh, one eighth of an inch. And then that changes it. I was thinking a printed scale eight quarter eighth inch equals a foot. Basically, we want our letters to be an eighth inch tall on our printed drawing, which is going to make it um, our text height in the view six inches. So we click OK, and click OK, and you'll notice that that label, the other one stayed the same, but this label got smaller. So if I move it up a little bit, now it fits in there. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. Right click, open object, and click OK right here. Go to our textile, use custom textile, scale, make this one eighth, hit OK, hit OK, and then center it up on the drawing. 
a little bit higher so it doesn't get in the way of those doors. And basically, at, at this point, um, all of our room labels are done in our drawing. Um, and that concludes part six of this lesson.